Brain waves are generated when any of the 100 billion neurons in your brain communicate. They can be monitored with a special diagnostic tool and a technique called brain mapping. It can help retrain your brain to improve memory and also behavioral issues. Health reporter Haley Hernandez takes us inside a clinic in the Woodlands to explain. I came out here to find out how brain mapping can potentially help somebody with a brain injury, behavioral problems, and autism. Don Kuhn says her two sons had mental health struggles from a young age and she was desperate to help them beyond medication alone. There were dark times during that journey. Certainly uh, nobody wants to medicate their kids. Uh, my boys are adopted, they're biological brothers, but we knew that there were some pretty serious mental health issues in the biology. Dawn started brain mapping for her boys and says she believes in the power of it so much she came to work at Sandstone Health. Here's what they discovered with one son. He's on the spectrum. We treat a ton of kids on the autism spectrum here, and he was really actually experiencing extreme social anxiety. I had to pull him from school. I would get calls. He'd be in the fetal position in the corner, just bawling his eyes out. So I homeschooled for a few years and uh, we did neurofeedback and now he's back in the classroom uh, thriving. Here's how it works. First, a sensor is placed on the scalp and a machine captures electrical activity in the brain. Then a report, including color-coded maps of the brain's activity, is generated. Here, green means healthy firing of neurons and red means unhealthy. This is the brain map. From here, Agnes Kaufman says she can retrain the red parts to fire in a more productive manner. To fire in a new neural pattern. Training the brain looks like this. Clients sit with another cap on and watch TV. The screen gets dim and quiet when the brain misfires and bright and audible when it does something right. Your brain likes that. It craves stimulation. Neurologists and psychiatrists across Texas tell me they are using brain mapping alongside medical treatments they say to improve results of conditions like anxiety and depression. Kaufman says it can also be used simply to keep the mind sharp. Athletes will use it um, for that. The London Symphony Orchestra uses it to increase their peak performance. NASA uses it for that. Dawn believes her sons would still be struggling socially and academically if it weren't for Sandstone. They really gave my kids their life back. The full course is about 60 sessions and cost about five to $6,000. Reporting from the Woodlands, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.